In this video, you will learn how to solve a nested function uh, question. So with nested functions, we always have to start in the middle, see which one is you know the deepest in the nest. And that is our h of x minus 4. Okay, That's the farthest on the inside. So we have to start with h of x, which is right over here. So let's go ahead and write that out. We have what? h of x equals x squared minus 1. So what we're going to do is go ahead and plug in our uh, x minus 4, right, which we have right here, into our you know, new function x squared minus 1. So we are going to have x minus 4 in parentheses, oops, minus 4, not plus, x minus 4 squared minus 1. And we do that by solving this little square. So we're going to have x minus 4 times x minus 4 which is going to equal x squared minus 8x plus 16, if you go ahead and FOIL it out. Don't forget, we still have a minus 1 in our function, right? So when we put that on here, we are left with x squared minus 8x plus 15. Okay, so we have solved h of x. Now we need to find f of x, right? That's right here. f of x equals x plus 2. So let's go ahead and write that out. f of x equals x plus 2. So now what we need to do is plug this uh, expression right here into this one. Okay, and that's simple enough. Our x becomes x squared minus 8x plus 15 plus this little 2 at the end. So we're just left with x squared minus 8x plus 15 plus our 2 because we substituted x squared minus 8x plus 15 for x. And when we do that, oops, I wrote x instead of 2. Sorry about that. We are left with x squared minus 8x what, plus 17, right? 15 plus 2. Now finally, we need to plug this expression back into our original uh, output. So we want to find f of h of x minus 4. We simply put in our last expression into this. So we're going to be left with x squared minus 8x plus 17 minus 4. And that, my friends, equals x squared minus 8x uh, plus 13. Okay, don't get all the way to the end and add incorrectly. <laughs> Take your time and make sure 17 minus 4 is 13. So our final answer is x squared minus 8x plus 13. Okay, it looks like a really hard question. Uh, most students will just go ahead and skip it on the SAT, get back to it if they have time. But for us, we know how to do it. It does take a little bit of time because you have to plug in your output for your input like three different times, but it's really not that difficult. So I hope you give this a try when you see it on the SAT. All right, bye for now.